हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन ट्रिक नंबर टू जीरो नाइन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस एंड दिस इज़ ए वेरी फ्रिक्वेंटली आज क्वेश्चन इन कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एंड वी विल ट्राई एंड सॉल्व दिस प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस प्रॉब्लम थ्रू ए शॉर्टकट दे आर बाई कंज्यूमिंग ओनली सिक्स टू सेवन सेकेंड्स टाइम वेयर एज इफ यू डू दिस प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम बाई ट्रेडिशनल मेथड यू आर spending at least 1 minute to 1 and 1/2 minutes by applying different formula and you have to remember those formulas also which are quite con- confusing so let us try to try and understand this problem and then we will use the shortcut to solve it now see here we are given that by selling a chair for rupees 315 a man is losing some percentage so 10% he is losing now he wants to convert this loss into gain so he wants to Has a profit of ten percent. In spite of losing ten percent, he wants to have a profit of ten percent. So we need to find out for how much he should sell the chair. Now, similar questions are labeled here also. See, here we have taken the selling price as six forty. Thereby, the loss is twenty percent. Now, this loss of twenty percent is to be converted into profit of twenty percent. So we need to find the new selling price. Likewise, we have the third problem here. So I'll demonstrate the steps here. and uh, when you learn the steps you can solve these two problems very easily within a time frame of less than 8 seconds so for solving this question through shortcut you just need to understand the three terms which we are going to use in the shortcut for finding the selling price see first is the amount given in this question there is only one amount given 315 so 315 this is the first quantity we need to multiply three quantities so out of that first is the amount which is given second now see loss of 10% always subtract loss from 100 and whenever you have a profit always add it to 100 so loss of 10% means 100 minus 10 Ninety percent. So this is the second quantity which we need to have in our answer. Loss of ten percent, hundred minus ten, ninety percent. So what is ninety percent? So if you see, we convert this ninety percent into fraction, then you will get nine upon ten. So the second part of our answer will have the reciprocal of this fraction. So we have got hundred minus ten as ninety percent. We converted it into fraction. We got nine upon ten. So what is the reciprocal of nine upon ten? It is ten upon nine. So we have got the second part of our uh, answer. Now come to the final part. See, we have here profit of ten percent. Profit is always added to hundred. So hundred plus ten. Now we have another percentage, hundred and ten percent. So convert this also in fraction, you will get eleven upon ten. And in case of profit, you do not need to take the reciprocal; just take the fraction as it is. So we have eleven upon ten here. So we will write eleven upon ten directly here. And here we have our answer: ten gets cancelled. Nine threes are twenty-seven, and nine fives are forty-five. So thirty-five into eleven. So your answer is rupees three hundred and eighty-five. Now see a very complex question. When students learn profit and loss at preliminary stages of class seventh, class eighth, they do these problems using the traditional method, and they consume even one page for getting to the answer. But in competitive exams, that method cannot be used because you don't have that much time. for solving the multiple choice questions so you need to know this shortcut very amazing shortcut you will not find this in books and through this shortcut in one step you are able to find the new selling price of the item now let us try and implement this method for solving this question see we have the quantity is 640 here now we need to have two ratios See, this is loss of twenty percent. So hundred minus twenty gives you eighty. So 
so what is 80 percent the 80 percent is i'll do it somewhere else so that you don't get confused here see 80 percent what is 80 percent it is 80 upon 100 and 80 upon 100 when you reduce it it will become 4 upon 5 so for the case of loss we are getting a fraction of 4 upon 5 but we need to write the reciprocal so we need to write 5 upon 4 here now come to the final part we have a profit of 20 percent so 100 plus 20 that is 120 percent now when you convert 120 percent this is 120 upon 100 which is 6 upon 5 so just multiply by 6 upon 5 remember in the first fraction we have to take the reciprocal and in the second fraction we need to write the fraction as it is so 5 gets cancelled so if you cancel this 4 this is 6, 160 so 160 into 6 rupees 960 is your final answer so the item has to be sold for rupees 960 for having a profit of 20% very easy and through a practice of 5 to 6 minutes practice 10 questions of like this you are bound to solve this in 5 to 6 seconds time only now see 5700 into now you have 5 percent here so if you convert 5 percent into fraction uh, 5 percent here so 100 minus 5 is 95 so 95 percent you have to convert it into fraction this is 95 upon 100 cancel by 5 you get 19 upon 20 now 19 upon 20 this is the case of loss so you write the reciprocal 20 upon 19 now take the case of profit 100 plus 5 now you have 105 percent so 105 percent is 105 upon 100 which is 21 upon 20 now see 21 upon 20 you need to write 21 upon 20 as it is so 20 gets cancelled see everywhere this term is getting cancelled so our calculation is very much simple now 19 3 is a 57 so 300 so your final answer is 21 into 3 6300 is your final answer now see complex problem and these type of problem need particular methods, particular shortcuts for success in competitive exams. So keep learning these shortcuts and share and subscribe the channel videos if you like it.